So I'm just going to show you how to connect a voltmeter to your car. So I picked up these two things off eBay. This is a digital voltmeter. It is the two wire type because you can get a three wire type and you can get a two wire type. Um, I just picked up the two wire type because it's more straightforward. Supposedly it's a little less accurate because you're you're powering the device and you're measuring voltage from the same wire. But uh, I'm not really looking for that much accuracy. It's, it's accurate to you know 0.1 volt. That's good enough for me. And this is a, just a regular switch, on off switch. Uh, total cost was like $3 on eBay. So basically, it's super straightforward. I've seen so many videos on YouTube that just make it seem so complicated. So I just thought I'd just record it. Um, so this is the circuit you're going to make. You've got 12 volts coming from your battery, or thereabouts. So you're going to run that wire through a switch, into your voltmeter, and then down into ground. So it's essentially, in practice, going to look like this. You're going to attach a wire. First of all, find a 12 volt wire underneath your... Um, underneath your steering column. I'm probably going to use a wire that's always on. You could attach it to a wire that's only on when the ignition is turned. That way you guarantee that your voltmeter won't be running when your car is off. But I'm just going to wire it to a wire that's always on. That way if I don't have my keys on me and I want to check the voltage, I can do it at any time. So yeah, run a red wire from that signal wire into one side of a switch. From the other side of that switch, then run it to the red side of your voltmeter. And from the black side of your voltmeter, just wire that to a ground point in your car. So that's it. It's three wires, two components. Super easy. So yeah, you'll need these two. Three dollars off eBay. And you're gonna need some other stuff. I don't have a wire stripper, so I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife and some tweezers. Some electrical tape just to clean everything up and some extra wire. This is pretty thick wire, but it'll do the trick. Uh, this is pretty useful. A multimeter, just so you can check the voltage of the wire you're connecting it to. So you just like attach this to a ground point in your car and then just start poking different wires. Just stick it right into the wire, read the voltage. If it's around 12 volts, it's probably a good a good signal wire to connect to. Compare it to the voltage across your battery though, just to make sure it's the same as your battery. Um, that way you'll get a pretty accurate uh, reading. And then I'm probably gonna solder everything together, so you probably don't need to, you can probably get away with just, you know, attaching it and then just taping it up. But just to make sure they don't come loose, I'm going to use one of these. And that's it. Super easy. Okay, so this is the final result. Um, this is the gauge installed in place. Doesn't look very good right now. I still haven't figured out the uh, <laughs> way to make it look decent. But it works. So I've installed the switch down here. Which is pretty cool. It's a little on-off switch. So I just flick it on and the voltage shows up there. So the key doesn't even have to be in the ignition, I just wired it to a, a wire that's always on. And yeah, it works really well actually. So that is the voltage on the battery. If I turn the key, nothing happens. If I turn it again, it should drop. There you go. And then I turn the lights on, it drops again. I turn them off, it goes back up, sort of. So yeah, it's pretty handy, I'll just flick it off, when I'm not interested in knowing the voltage, I can just turn it right, right off. So yeah, I just followed exactly that schematic that I drew, and that was it, just three wires, these two components, simple. I won't show you this, it's pretty simple, it's two, two wires, and then they both lead down through here, and they come out over here. What I will show you in here, if you can see it. 
Okay, it's really hard to see in there. Yeah. Let's see if I can pull this out. So, yeah, coming from the voltmeter, that's the ground. I just spliced that in with a black wire that I was sure was going to ground back there. And the red wire goes to the switch, as uh, I mentioned before. And then the other red wire coming out of the switch, which is down here, it's hard to see it, but I spliced that in with a 12 volt wire that I knew was always on. And that's it. Um, I soldered the connections and then I insulated them. Simple as that. So yeah, it's pretty quick, pretty easy job. And it's kind of a useful thing to have if, uh, if you've got an older car, an older battery, and you want to maybe run something off your battery sometimes, you don't want to be, end up being stranded, it's good to be able to know the voltage at any time and just make sure, yeah, I've got enough juice to get home or, or whatever. Alright, thanks for watching.